Now then, Faustus, what wouldst thou have Mephisto do? I charge thee, Mephisto, wait upon me while I live, to do whatever Faustus shall command, be it to make the moon drop from out her sphere, or the ocean to overwhelm the world. I am but a humble servant to great Lucifer, and may not follow thee without his leave. No more than he command must we perform. Did he not charge thee then to appear to me? No, I came hither of mine own accord. Thou sayest it was not the tenor of my conjuring speeches that did raise thee. Speak. That was the cause, but yet per accident. For when we hear one rack the name of God, abjure the scripture and his savior Christ, we fly to get his glorious soul. But leaving these vain, petty trifles of men's souls, tell me, what is that Lucifer, thy lord? Archregent and commander of all spirits. Was not that Lucifer an angel once? Yes, Faustus, and most dearly loved of God. How comes it then that he be prince of devils? Oh, by aspiring pride and insolence, for which God threw him from the face of heaven. And what are you that live with Lucifer? Unhappy spirits that fell with Lucifer, conspired against our God with Lucifer, and are forever damned with Lucifer. Where are you damned? In hell. How comes it then that thou art now out of hell with me? Why, this is hell, nor am I out of it. Thinkst thou that I, who saw the face of God, and tasted the eternal joys of heaven, am not tormented with ten thousand hells in being deprived of everlasting bliss. Go bear these tidings to great Lucifer. Say he surrenders up his soul, so that he shall spare him four and twenty years, letting him live in all voluptuousness. Having thee ever to attend on me, to give me whatsoever I shall ask. I will. What exactly is God? Why is it great? Does it have a mass or weight? This is very important because I want to know why God is great. How can it be great when it is immaterial? You think with a material mind, you only believe what you can see and dismiss things beyond this world as fiction or works of madmen. But know this, Faustus. There are things still yet unknown to this world that are as real as you and me. The only reason we cannot see it is because mankind has not the physical or mental capabilities to do so. Yet. For example, when you look at the galaxy of the Milky Way, what do you see? The flat disc-like spiral galaxy with a large bulb in the center, correct? What if I was to tell you that there is more substance to the galaxy than your any man can yet see because he has not discovered all things that exist in this universe? If he had, then he would know that there is a completely different spectrum of energy and particles that exist that we cannot see with our eyes and that the Milky Way galaxy is not a spiral galaxy. Flat and round in the center, but it is in fact what they call a quasar star, and our solar system is but one of many systems that exist in sunspot-like regions all across the surface and below the surface of it. 
that once you leave the protection of the sunspot area of our system space heats up extremely until you find another pocket that contains another system just like ours. If you look towards the center, the bulge is actually the core of the quasar star, and because of the size and mass of this giant star, instead of a photon plasma core at the center, you instead find a supermassive black hole that keeps and holds the mass of the star together in a balanced state. When that balance is thrown off, the black hole awakens and resets the balance by either consuming or emitting flares from its relativistic jets. This factor is a key component in discovering a way to escape from the gravitational pull of a black hole. For if you take the total mass of the star and divide it to discover the gravitational strength as you get closer to the core, then you can discover the momentum of speed necessary to escape its gravitational pull just as you would calculate the inertia needed to escape the Earth's atmosphere and at what angle you would have to travel to reach that escape velocity, as well as the pressure and resistance one may encounter that the integrity of the whole would need to be capable of withstanding. Do I intrude upon your rest? Or would you care to talk? What I've learned through your instruction reasserts again. That big and small are only the two sides to the one coin. And that the elephant, for all his mighty strengths, no different, basically, to the tiny flea. So still I seek the force, the reason, governing life's flow. And not just its external show. The governing force, the reason. Some things can't be known. They are beyond your reach even when shown. Why should that be so? They lie outside the boundaries that words can address. And man can only grasp those thoughts which language can express. What? Do you mean that words are greater yet than man? Indeed they are. Then what of longing? Or affection, pain and grief? I can't describe these, yet I know they're in my breast. What are they? Without substance, as mist is. In that case, man is only air as well. Um, oh, shit. I forgot my line. Hold on here, where are we? Oh, yes. What has made me thirst, then? To be instructed in those things that are more than speech allows. Your thirst is artificial, fostered by the arrogance in you. So look no further than all your human brothers do. Sleep, eat, drink, and let that be sufficient. Liar and foul traitor! Where are the pulse and core of nature you promised to reveal? Where? Faustus, you lack the wit to see them in every blade of grass. Vile phantom, lying fiend, Faustus worm. Dare you rain curses down on me, now spite and venom deeper than the sea I'll vent on you. I'm learning. The devil knows no more than we poor fools. The man who gives his soul to Satan for instruction. I would agree with you he is a poor fool. As a guide to higher truths, I really cannot recommend you. And yet, says my contract, signed in blood. Believe it or not, these are the core elements that are found at the core of almost every satanic order, as if these plays hold the keys by which to call upon me. The entire world believes that the traits emitted by these theatre performances contain any true personality behavior patterns, how I act and what I believe when I was actually only mentioned in a footnote of a conversation between Faustus and Mephistopheles. You still remain constrained to serve me. Serve me then. I will make use of your deceptive guile and your satanic anger. Both will I put at your disposal. 